to Crafts and Coffee with Chris and Kel. I'm Kel, and today I am very excited to bring this post review to you. I have a lot to go over, so I just want to let you know in advance what we're going to be talking about today. If you've seen our previous post reviews, they are great, but not maybe as in-depth. Um, and this one is a perfect canvas to go in-depth with you. So we're going to be doing that. Specifically, I'll be talking about the storage that I use, both for short-term and long-term storage. Um, my decision-making process on how I add enhancements to a kit uh, and where I purchase them, what companies. Now, just so you know, this isn't sponsored by any particular company. Everything that you see here was purchased by me. I am also gonna be talking about and showing you the enhanced drills that I used, both in the storage and on the canvas. And I'll actually be using this 16 compartment tower to actually show you the drills too and what they look like, the special ones. And um, at the end, I'm going to do an aerial view of the canvas. So if you want to see it really close up in all its totality, I love aerial views. So we're going to be doing that as well. So as you can tell by the title, probably, this is Alice in the Sea of Tears by Simona Candini. It is actually available right now on DAC's website and it's on sale. I don't know how long that sale is going to last, but if you want to go and get it, it used to be $54.99. It's now $43.99. So saving $9, right? That's shipping if you're only going to buy one. So I encourage you to do that if you're interested. So I have notes here because I did a lot to this kit and obviously I haven't, you know, shown it to you yet because I'm trying to build up the suspense, but working on the kit, I use this 60, um, 60 little, um, container case, you know, that has these little jars here. And how I kit up is I put washi tape down and then I put the sticker down. And then when I um, de-kit this, I'll just take the sticker off and leave the washi tape on so I can kit it up again. As you can see, I had extras there, but I had enough of all the colors, um, but I did replace a lot too. So obviously I'm gonna have more left over if I'm replacing, but I'll set that to the side. You can see Alice there. And I actually have this already framed, which is kind of cool. So this is like the whole kit and caboodle here. All right, oops. So this is the sticker. And we do have the unboxing of this video um, or of this canvas up. So check it out. I will link it below. All of the things that I'm showing you as well will be linked below. I mean, not in each individual special enhancement that I did, but the companies that it came from. So let's get started where the start happens, right? At the beginning. So this is a 56 by 74 centimeter round drill canvas. 60 colors with two ABs included. So obviously the 60 storage container was perfect for this. Um, perfect, right? It was meant to be. I will link that below. Before starting the canvas though, I look at it and I look at the sticker, right? I say, what do I wanna enhance? What's important to me about this piece of art? And that I go from there. The extra embellishments I'm referring to are ABs, jellies, sparklers, crystals, quad cubes. I mean, I'm sure there's more out there, but those are the ones that I really, you know, use. 
And um, then I look at my stash and I see if I have any matching charted DMCs in the ABs. That's where I start. I look at the DMC codes and then I see if I have any matching. And I just pull them out. I may not use them all, but I pull them. And that's kind of how I get my process started. So let me just talk to you real quick. This is an Elizabeth bead storage container. And I make this um, label with my label maker. I'll post it below. I used to do the binders and that was fine, but I was starting to get too big of a stash. And I like how I can just look and see what I have at a glance all in one. I don't have to flip pages of a binder, you know, I mean, and then what I do is I put the, t the title on top or the name of the color, right? So I can still see the colors at a glance, but if I like one, you know, I pick one, right? And then I take notes as I go along in my journal so I can do a more detailed post review with you so you could see what I actually did. So I just wanted to show that to you and slowly unveil the canvas. She is gorge. Oh my gosh. I love her. I love her. Let me just move that out of the way. Now, before I get too detailed, so when I'm finished though, I do brush the whole canvas with an old dry toothbrush because whatever wax, putty, you know, glue dots, whatever you use on your pen to place the drills, they, they leave some kind of residue, right? So this just removes that residue. And then I use a roller to really, really push down every drill to make sure that it's not going anywhere. Because I don't seal my diamond paintings. The quality that I purchase, you know, I'm not going to seal a diamond painting if it voids the warranty first. And then why am I buying canvases that I have to seal? Like, I don't think you should have to. That's just my personal opinion, though. All right, so after I've looked at my stash, I began working on this specific canvas from the bottom using the free range style diamond painting. And I learned that from Life with Lindsay where you just literally pull the plastic up and start working. I used to use the waxed parchment, or they're not parchment, they're release papers. I used to do that all around, but working free range for me, it really allows me to enjoy the, the canvas. So if I'm pulling up the plastic to here, you know, I can work on the whole you know, chest at once, you know, I can do all this key at once. So I really enjoy what I'm working on more by doing it that way. That's just, you know, me. And speaking of life with Lindsay, I did complete this in the month of January to participate in her hashtag Alice in a winter wonderland event. It goes from January 1st to February 14th every year. And this is her second annual event. I love it. That's how I met her last year. So anyone that's interested um, next year, I mean, I need a canvas for next year that I'm gonna be purchasing sometime this year. So I'm gonna keep an eye out for a great Cal um, Alice canvas, or it could be a Cheshire Cat, Mad Hatter, anything to do with Alice in Wonderland characters. Um, let's see what else. So the guide circles on this canvas were faint and small which is great because the drills need to cover that. Um, the canvas was sticky throughout. I did single place using a pen, um, a Tina Caval pen with glue dots in the single placer. There was just something about this canvas that I really wanted to take my time and enjoy. And I decided to single place. Also, if you don't know, I'm more of a square kind of drill gal. You know, I love squares. And I was a little less um, comfortable, confident, and experienced uh, multi-placing the round drills. So that's the, the way I went about it. So I'm gonna show you, so for those of you who 
just wanted to see a post review. Don't need all the details. I just, I'm gonna, oops, I didn't glue that bottom down. So I'm just gonna show this to you. And hopefully you'll stick around for the rest of the video because I'm gonna go into detail. People like to know how to enhance their diamond paintings. And as you can see, you're gonna want to, you know, I know a lot of the whipping chats and some post reviews we don't really watch, we just listen to while we're crafting. But you're gonna want to see this next part because I did some things, people. I did some things. Okay. So if you want to take off now, I understand, but hang out. You might just learn something. All right, so now we're gonna get into the details of all of the embellishments I added to this canvas. I'm going to show you how I have them in storage and also what they look like individually on a tray. So I already have them set up. You're not gonna have to watch me shake up a bunch of drills and open them and all of that. I have it all prepared. So I hope you stick around for this part. Um, yeah, and every time I bring up a canvas, I do learn something from it, so. I hope you, you know, pick up a couple tricks here and there. So as I said, I started the canvas from the bottom. So the first thing I did was I added antique gold sparklers to the lock of the chest. And this is how I have them. I use the Elizabeth Ward bead storage and I put a label on top as I showed you. And then at least you can see what color, you know, is inside. And this is what antique gold looks like in a white tray. Beautiful, right? Okay, so the next thing I did working my way up is I added red sparklers to the heart. Well, at first I started with this, you know, and working my way up, I knew I was gonna add them to all the cards under the water that were red. And it called for a 498 color, which is a red, but it's not the 666 that we normally see as red. It's, you know, more of a muted red. So I knew I wanted this to stand out. And the red sparklers, so this is how I have it. Okay. And then this is what it looks like in a tray. Oh, my gosh. Like... I just can't get enough of the sparkly things. You would think I would love diamonds and stuff, but this is way better to me. Okay, TMI. The next thing I did, now if you don't know about quad cubes, quad cubes um, take up four spaces in a canvas, whether it's a round or a square diamond painting. And I find myself using those a lot in the eyes of the characters that I work on. If the uh, size, <laughs> Excuse me. if the size you know permits so in this canvas I only used one quad cube and I used it in the eye of the octopus it actually called for like a dark brown color but I was like I I don't have dark brown and I wanted it to be black so here's my quad cubes in black and I did buy a set um, when I first bought these, I wasn't sure how I was going to use them. I just knew I wanted to use them. So, um, dpwithsparklers.com has, you know, sets. So I recommend that. The next thing I did was I, uh, this is where, uh, my stash, um, of ABs played in. And I didn't add a lot of ABs to this, but, um, I did add these 550 ABs. So it called for a regular drill of 550, which is a purple. But I, I, you know, like I said in the beginning, when I look at the canvas, I match up the DMC colors with the coat, uh, the colors that I have in my stash as far as ABs go. And, and that's where this played in. So this is how I have my 550 ABs in storage. And then this, um, I didn't pour the ABs onto trays because you guys know what an AB is, right? It has an iridescent coating on the top that makes it shiny and more reflective than a regular drill. So I wasn't gonna, you know, take the time to 
um, pour all of those out as well. The next thing I did is I used rose sparklers in the octopus. So when I did this, I looked at the canvas and light coming down is going to shine probably on the top of something, right? So that's why I chose rose for this is I didn't want to bling up the octopus too much. I didn't want it to be the main focus, but I wanted to do something. So this is what rose sparklers look like. And I had never used rose sparklers before, so I'm happy I had the opportunity to do that. Okay, so the next thing I come to is the waterline. I knew I wanted to bling the waterline up, right? Because when you're looking at an ocean or a lake or some, you know, natural body of water, the light reflects off of the top and it sparkles. So I knew I wanted to highlight the waterline. So I'm going to show you all the special enhancements I used on the waterline. I'm not going to point them out specifically because, you know, they're, they're mixed in there. But I just tried to find an equivalent that I thought would go well in place of the called for drills. So I'm going to show you those. So as far as the waterline goes, I chose, now do you say Caribbean or Caribbean? I used Caribbean. This is what it looks like in a tray. O-M-G, right? Beautiful aqua color. The next I used for the waterline was Moonstone. Okay? This is more of a bluish green. So I'm going to show you in the tray. You see how... It almost changes color depending on what direction you're looking at it. So I thought that would be a great addition. And sometimes when I'm looking at websites, I'm like, oh, what's the difference? You know, websites are great, but in person is always better. So I wanted to show you like what they look like next to each other. So you can really see the blue coming out of the moonstone when they're next to each other before it looked more green, right? And the thing about sparklers is they really seem to, in a way, be very unique depending on what color they're next to as well. So I would say keep that in mind when you're, you know, placing them. They may or may not work. You kind of just have to play with it as far as that goes. So that was uh, Caribbean and Moonstone. And the next I added was Dreamcatcher. I couldn't even really describe this one to you. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It really reflects the light. I think more of what it's next to. So dream catcher. Then I added silver. Silver's more of a solid sparkler. It's not going to reflect all these different lights off of it. But I love it. Silver. Look at that reflection. Okay. Next, I used Original. Original has been my favorite for a long time. I think it was one of the first sparklers I got. So let me show you Original. Oh, man. Like... I think original has like every color in it. That's that's how I would describe original. Like to me, you can't go wrong with original. The next thing I did for the waterline was frost. Now frost can be like described as like an AB coated. Like this would be good if you had snow in your canvas. So let me show you what that looks like in a tray. It's just, oh. let me show you Frost and Original next to each other because you'll be able to really tell the difference between them. They're very similar, but this one has more of like, 
I don't know, like a white. So this is original. This is frost. Ugh, can't get enough. I have a problem. Okay. Next thing is another AB. So 992, regular 992 was called for in this, but I used ABs that I just had. Um, let me see if I can. Oh. I think it's this color. Yeah, those are ABs. But I used all that I had. So I'm empty. I have no more 992 ABs. So I'll be, you know, having to order those. All right. So let me set these back over here. Because I have them lined up in order. Okay. So moving up the canvas. I knew I wanted to do something for this little serpent. So I put the red uh, sparklers on for his tongue. Just wanted to do a little something, something. Now for her hair, surprisingly, they didn't call for any ABs in her hair. And I was like, what? Like she needs ABs, right? So I took my, it was called for 3770 regular where you see these ABs. And I said, uh-uh. We are doing my 3770 ABs. So I didn't pour those into a tray, but you can see what color they are. I wanted to bling her hair up. Come on now, it's Alice. Now look at those lips. It's interesting how the line in her lips is brown. Um, okay, I mean, I left that, but I did change her lips to hot pink. I had never used hot pink sparklers before, but come on. If you're ever going to use them, right? You got to use them for her lips. So let me show you what they look like in a tray. They almost look red on camera, but they are hot pink. Oops, I'm sorry about the focus. There we go. Anyway, hot pink. Moving up. Okay, so I was um, a little surprised at this. Her eyes are charted as two different colors, probably because of the way her head is tilted. So in her, let's see, her left eye facing me was called for 322, but I used Ocean again. Or no, I hadn't used Ocean yet. So here's Ocean, pretty, pretty. I'll show you in a tray. No, is that Ocean? Yeah, that's Ocean. So it's kind of a little darker blue, you know, but it's pretty, right? And at first I was like, maybe I should make both of her eyes the same color, but then I was like, they charted them two different colors for a reason and you know, I wanted to, you know, stick with that. So I used metallic blue for her right eye facing me. So metallic blue is a deeper blue. I think of the metallic blue like a deeper part of the ocean. And I wanna show you the two blues together. So the ocean and the metallic blue look like this. So this is the ocean and this is the metallic blue. Okay, so you have an idea of what the difference is between those. Now we're gonna talk about, and I have to flip a page in my journal, sorry about that. So now I, re I um, moved up to the sky, okay? And um, I, okay, let's go up to the cloud. So in the cloud, I used red sparklers for the mouth line, which I already showed you in a tray. 
I used rose sparklers for the cheeks instead of the regular 894. And then I used yellow sparklers for the eyes. So above the eye line, I wanted, I've never used the yellow sparklers either. So I was able to do that. And let me show you the yellow in a tray. Like, this is like canary yellow. I mean, oh, gorgeous. Okay. After that, I use clear sparklers. Okay, and so let's move on to the Cheshire Cat. I used clear sparklers in the smile. And it called for, there's a lot of notes here, people. In place of 762 and 414. So there were a couple colors they wanted for that, but I wanted to use my clear. And I'll show you clear. And I ran out of my white tray, so I'm showing you this in a clear tray. <laughs> so there we go. These are clear sparklers. I mean, it's like a mirror, right? Love the clear. The next thing I did in the cat was I added um, yellow sparklers in the stripe on the head. So there's like stripe right here. Um, it called for 743. Then I used some more ABs 209 in my stash instead of the regular 209 that they called for. So here's the 209s. Those are the ABs that I used. And then I added 550 ABs as well, which I already showed you um, from my stash. And then I used unicorn sparklers and royal purple sparklers. So I, I mean, I, I blung him up. I just, you know, he's special, right? And I was a little afraid that I was doing too much. Like I even considered adding something to this wing here, but this is like the boat that he's floating on, you know, or in, and I'm like, I did not want to do too, too much. So let me show you the last two sparklers, um, which is the unicorn. It's like a light purple, but it bounces off different colors. And then the royal purple. Now, tell me... You see quite a few different colors in there, right? When I was pouring these drills into the tray, I was like, did I mix colors up? So tell me below, like if you have royal purple, does yours look like this too? Because when I was placing them, I'm like, wait, what? But I just picked them randomly and they worked. So I did want to tell you that I did use a pretty placer to place all my ABs. It's a, it's a wax crayon, and um, it's great for placing ABs so you don't take the coating off, which some waxes and, like, glue dots do. Um, and I finished the I started it January 1st of 2022, and I finished her on the 15th. And I did have to take a few days off due to the plague that hit my house, but here we are. She's beautiful. Oh, and I, real quick, I did frame her. I like using the magnetic frames. So I'll link those below. Super easy. I just cut off the sides and then, you know, you cut some of the top off, but not all of it because you don't want to cover up any of the drills. A little tip real quick too, before we end this, is when I am framing it, I take one of the sides with the uh, key and I glue it to the back 
So if anything happens to her, if a drill falls out, I can go to this and know exactly what color I need. I don't have to hunt and search and I can't imagine what I would have to do to figure that out. Yeah, so I really, really, really hope you like this much detailed post review about enhancements and what I did. Um, you know, to me, this is the creative side to diamond painting. I, you know, you really can customize your kits as much as you want. And how I do it isn't how you would do it and vice versa. So it's a really artistic and creative way to make each canvas very unique to you and your style. So I really hope you liked this video. I hope you stayed all the way through, but don't leave. I'm going to do an aerial view of this canvas so you can see it up close and personal. Take care, everybody, and check out our other videos. P please like, subscribe, share. We love everyone who comments and likes. I mean, it really does help our channel grow and uh, it means a lot to us. So take care crafters. Bye.